Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. It is a short slate of NBA action here for the Sunday evening slate of games. A couple of earlier afternoon games as well, but I've chosen to pick on some of the later games here tonight. And one of the early afternoon games from Phoenix is one I'm uh, starting off with here with the Phoenix Suns playing host to the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, the Bucks come in as a six-point dog in this one, total of 204. Now, somewhat of a revenge game here for Brandon Knight as he welcomes in the team that traded him just about a year ago, but not sure that's going to play too much of a factor here. Suns and Bucks both still very much underperforming here, but at least the Bucks will have Greg Monroe back after uh, he was making it rain last week after their win against the Golden State Warriors. He should be back in the lineup after playing on Friday night, and the Bucks, I think, as athletic and as long as they are, I think they could give the Suns a little bit of problems here. The Suns' backcourt, not that tall. Uh, their front court is having some issues as well with Greg Monroe back. I think that will hurt them here this evening. I think the Bucks plus six even though they haven't been the most consistent team, obviously, this season, are actually a pretty good play here on the road against Phoenix. Phoenix is 0-3 against the spread at home against the Eastern Conference this season. They're only 2-6 and against the spread overall against the East, and I think the Milwaukee Bucks, as long and as athletic as they are, could give the Phoenix Suns some problems here, both in their half-court and transition offenses here. So I'm going to take points here with the Bucks at plus six. Now next up is the New Orleans Pelicans and the Denver Nuggets from Mile High, where the Nuggets come in as a one-point home dog in this one, total of 204.5. We obviously got ruined by the Pelicans the other night against those aforementioned Suns. They just did not show up as we bet the over in that one. But I know the Pelicans have been atrocious on the road this season, especially at cashing the over. They've only cashed it, I believe, in two of their 15 road games this season. But I do think the over is potentially a play here. And if it doesn't cash in this one, I swear I'm not going back to the well on the Pelicans in their road games at all this season. But the Denver Nuggets giving up some points as well. They should be without Emmanuel Moutier once again here, which means Jameer Nelson will be taking the reins for the Denver Nuggets point guard position. And uh, he will have he will be no match for Drew Holiday, who has been actually looking a lot better here as of late. Denver 7-5 and five cash in the over at home this season, giving up a ton of points this year as well, about, 100, uh, about 108, 109 points per game as well at um, uh, overall, as well as the Pelicans giving up about 109 points per game to Western Conference opponents this year as well. I think you could see a faster pace game, not a whole lot of defense as well. The first time these two teams met, the Nuggets actually dropped 115 on the Pelicans in New Orleans. I think at home they should be able to do similar things, even without Moutier. I think this could be an up and down, fast paced game, not a whole lot of defense defense here in the early evening start on Sunday here. So take over 204 and a half between the Pelicans and the Nuggets. Those are your NBA picks of the day. Make sure you check out some of my NFL late last second picks as well. If there's still time as well. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.